What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be discussing the Party Never Ends V2, the one that we were going to get or might still possibly get. I don't even know what's going on with that, but I'm just going to be looking at all the songs that have been teased with snippets and everything that I was able to find the old teasing for, I will have in this video. If I wasn't able to find it, you guys can definitely just go check back on an older video because we've discussed literally everything. But before we do start, I do just want to give a shout out to all the channel members. Thank you guys for supporting me and the channel. Also, also do just want to give a shout out to Alex on Instagram for helping me with this video and sending me a lot of stuff but with all this being said we're gonna get started all right so I think the snippets that a majority of the community and my viewers probably already know about are stuff like GoPro Bibby teased this back in like the end of 2021 or early 2022 right after we got fighting demons he just retweeted a snippet of GoPro and said that it sounds like the party and we've kind of had some other hints towards it releasing since then but I think think it's pretty much confirmed that GoPro was going to be releasing on the version of Party Never Ends we were going to get this year and if we still do get it I still think that this will be on the album now the second song is Biscotti Bibby said that he would drop Biscotti for one if it didn't leak and he even talks about more songs in the exact same live there's actually a screenshot from Yash that kind of just recaps everything that Bibby said in that live he said that he would drop Biscotti if it didn't leak and he also hinted towards releasing songs like Overseer and and toxic humans so that's literally three more songs that have been teased biscotti overseer and toxic humans moving on to the next couple snippets we have way too many bibby teased this by just tweeting out lyrics like 999 to get in and this might not be on the party never ends don't get me wrong i'm not sure i don't think it would necessarily fit the hype theme of the album and i wouldn't really want to see way too many drop on an album like this i'd really rather them just hold that off if they're ever actually going to do outsiders but at the end of the day Bibby still did tease it during this time period so it is another possible snippet even if it's not that likely there's still a chance of this releasing we also have off the rip we all already know about that i don't even think we really need any proof of this it was literally the biggest community grail at one point or at least throughout the earlier part of this year ever since the documentary released and we even know that the producer of this song Richie South teased that it would release as well moving on we also have 24 hours now the reason that this one's teased is because earlier in the year we got a leaked version of it which is a label mix which sounds way better than the OG we used to have I really do like the new label mix and I honestly wouldn't complain if this did turn out to release but we also have bitch you're done we know this is a newer one featuring nav or somebody it might not be nav but it's another one that's teased because Pete played this on his Instagram story probably like a week or two ago at this point we also have made it work Bibby's just teased the lyrics to this song on instagram comments or on tweets we also have oxy in the dark now this one was mainly teased for the party never ends v1 i think pete's actually the one that teased down his instagram story but juice literally says the party never ends in the song and it's a hype song so i think it would probably have gotten put onto the new version of the album and it's not leaked still so i think this was one that definitely still could have released on the party never ends v2 and then we also have killing my vibe now this is one that was played on pete's instagram story i believe i don't know if there's a screen recording of it but i do know for a fact that pete played it and this is one that i could definitely see the label dropping we also have victorious now bibby said that this was one of his favorite leak songs i think he called it cuffed but he still went on and teased it for both versions it was supposed to be on the og version of the party never ends v1 and then more recently bibby said it's one of his favorite leaked songs so i still think there was a chance that it was going to be on this new version of the album we also have tattoos and ink i think bibby teased this like a day or two either before or after it leaked it was on an instagram live bibby just commented the name of the song but if you've been following for long enough you know that this is literally what bibby did for feel alone and go hard and both of those released on fighting demons so there was a possible chance with tattoos and ink we also have big swag pete posted this on his instagram story just listening to it in local files moving on we also have all life long this is obviously good times we know this was teased in the cigarettes music video at the beginning of that thank you 
Now we also have Bye Bye. This was teased for the newer version of The Party Never Ends, at least supposedly, or Marshmallow's album. He confirmed that Bye Bye is coming. So at some point, I'm assuming Bye Bye is going to release. A couple other songs that have been teased are Attachments. Richie South tweeted out lyrics to this song. Now he could have been doing that because it leaked, but it also could be him teasing the track. We also have Aquafina. There was something earlier at the beginning of this year where I think the producer of the song said something how it would release eventually or it would release this year. I don't remember exactly what he said, but it's still a song that's been teased throughout this kind of rollout for this version of the album. And then honestly, I think the last couple songs are just stuff like Soda Pop, which was kind of teased for the last version of The Party Never Ends, and then Marshmallow obviously confirmed it wasn't going to be on Fighting Demons. We don't know anything about this version of The Party Never Ends, if that could still release or not, and we also kind of know about Rental, at least. I think a lot of people have thought it was teased in the Cigarettes lyric video, or the Visualizer, whatever it is. Juice is wearing the same hoodie that he did in the Rental Live. I don't really know so much if that's teasing it or not, and I don't even know if they could get rental cleared so i wouldn't hold my hopes up for this one but i would love to see that released as well and then we also know about a thousand times that the label tried to get released i'm assuming on fighting demons but we know that they weren't able to because of some issue with miley's team or something and with all that being said those are like 22 snippets that have been teased at least by producers people from the label or just whatever it has been we've had some kind of teasing for every single one of these tracks for this version of the party never ends if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, shout out to everybody that helped with this video. And obviously, I don't know if we're getting The Party Never Ends this year or ever at this point. If we do, I will definitely make updated videos on news, whatever. You guys already know this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.